What's happening guys, Brendan Fry here. Hope you're having a great day. Today I wanna to do a quick video to talk about the upcoming curation reward changes for Hard Fork 20. So if you guys have been following the Steam It blog, then you're aware that Hard Fork 20 is just around the corner and uh, we need to get prepared for that and understand what's gonna happen, what's gonna change. So I thought I'd make, uh, this might end up being a series of videos, but uh, today I really wanna talk about the curation rewards and how that's gonna change. So let me move me out of the way here real quick, just a little bit, and come over here to this window. Now this comes directly from the Steemit blog, so if you're not following the Steemit blog, be sure that you are, so that way you know any changes, any updates coming to the Steam blockchain or steemit.com. Uh, so make sure you're following them first of all. But let's go through this post. They recently uh, made this post. Let's go up here to the top here. Steam Velocity Hard Fork, Hard Fork 20. So this comes from, straight from the development team and Steam and Incorporated, letting you guys know what the changes are that are coming. So I thought this would be interesting to go through here today and possibly, like I said, make a series of videos talking about the upcoming changes to Hard Fork 20 so you guys can better understand it. But today I want to talk about curation rewards and how that's going to be affected, how that's going to be impacted about Hard Fork 20, which is coming very, very soon. So uh, as they mentioned here, 30-minute curation windows, Steam account holders, including bot accounts, are currently disincentivized by the Steam blockchain from voting on a post within the first 30 minutes. The earlier a vote is made within the initial 30 minute window, the less curation rewards the voting account receives. So I've mentioned this on another post where I was talking about when is the best time to upvote a post and I'll try to leave a link to that below. Um, so that, that video is no longer gonna be applicable because they're gonna be changing it from a 30 minute window. So it used to be like if you voted in the first five minutes, then you made nothing, it all went to the author. If you voted within like 15 minutes to 20 minutes, then you got maybe 50% of the, of the rewards and 50% of it goes to the author. And uh, it, the closer you get to the 30 minute window and afterwards, the more you receive as a curator. Well, that's going to be changing. It's still going to have, I think it's still going to be the same as far as uh, within that time frame. You know, originally it was 30 minutes. Within that time frame, you know, depending on when you upvote the content, the more of it goes to the author, more of it goes to you. But it's going to be shortened. That time window is going to be shortened from 30 minutes to 15 minutes. Okay. So it says this was originally introduced to even the playing field between human curators and bots during a time when the majority of the content on Steam was long form written content. So originally I think more of the content on Steam was more of a blog format, so it was more long form. Because you gotta think about it, in the early days, Steamit.com was like the only app, right? And so this is really a blogging platform uh, Steamit.com is. And so people were writing long articles and it takes a long time to, re to read those articles. You know, so if you're upvoting something in the first few seconds, then obviously you didn't read it. Uh, but now, as they mentioned here, now there are so many other decentralized apps coming to the blockchain. We've got Steepshot, we've got DSound, we've got, you know, Dmania. So there's a lot of other content out there that is shorter or takes less time to consume, right? And that's why they they decided to change this. It says while successful, much has changed on the Steam on Steam. Since that time, Steam now hosts all kinds of content and powers hundreds of decentralized applications which dramatically expand the types of content that can be consumed on Steam. Because of this, the community and the witness have come to a consensus that the 30 minute rule is taking curation rewards away from human voters who are actively consuming content and voting on material they like. For this reason, the Velocity Hard Fork will reduce the curation window from 30 minutes to 15 minutes. So again, I don't think the actual uh, inner workings of the mechanism, or I don't think it's gonna change uh, you know, as far as like, you know, you vote early, you get less and vote later, you get more, but it's just going to shorten that time window from 30 minutes to 15 minutes. Okay. So that's coming around the corner. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is self voting rewards. This, I really like this and, uh, some of you guys may not, but let's talk about it. So self voting rewards, according to the current blockchain rules, if authors vote for themselves immediately, so the right as soon as they post something, they upvote it. And most of us do that, right? Most of us do that here. They get their author rewards, 100% of the curation rewards from their vote because they voted early in the time window, right? And a portion of the curation rewards coming from everyone else who votes for the post after them. Any other curator voting at the same time as the author would get 0% of the curation rewards and this gives the author an unfair advantage over other curators. So if you think about it, like a well out there whose upvote is worth, say, $100, and they post something and they upvote their own post immediately, they're getting all of the rewards from that, right? They're getting the curation and the author rewards from their own upvote, and none of it goes to the, the 
uh, the fellow or the the curators after them. Okay, so the way it works, guys, if you don't know this, uh, whenever somebody does, let's say that same scenario, there's a well out there, he posts something, but he doesn't upvote it right away, and if you find their content, you like it, you upvote it, and then they upvote after you, then you get a portion of their upvote, okay? So that's the way it works, and what they're saying here is that a lot of authors out there, and you know, or I guess rightfully so, we have always upvoted our own post like immediately. I do it, I try to do it myself, um, of course, with me, I've got a, my account's an upvote bot, so I have to pay for my own upvote, which is interesting. But, you know, most people out there do uh, upvote their own content, and they do it immediately after posting it. Uh, it says, in order to eliminate this advantage, the portion of curation rewards that is not given to the curator, so if they upvote their own content, um, instead of giving it to the author, the portion of the curation rewards that is not given to the curators due to the early voting penalty will be re returned to the rewards pool instead of being awarded to the author, thereby increasing the overall percentage of rewards paid to curators. This will better serve the original mission of the curation rewards budget to ensure that the Steam blockchain distributes rewards to the most valuable content. I think this is a great idea. You know, I don't think that authors should be earning on their own curation rewards from voting their own content. I just don't. And I don't think anybody can, I don't think anybody has a legit argument against that, right? Uh, so I think this is a good change. It's going to add more money to the rewards pool, which means there's more money to dish out. And uh, that's just a good thing in general. So um, that is the only updates that I can find on curation rewards here. And I want to do these videos in bite-sized chunks. Again, I probably will do a series of videos talking about Hard Fork 20 and the changes coming to go into detail about the changes you can expect. Uh, probably won't get into the witness stuff because you guys will be bored to death with that. But I'll go over anything that I think is going to impact you guys as content creators or curators here on the Steam blockchain no matter what application you're using. So. I hope that's been helpful, guys. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, anything at all, please leave those below. Be glad to hear uh, you know any questions you have and be able to help you any way I can. Uh, other than that, guys, we'll see you on the next video. I hope you have an awesome day.